So the Guinness critic is coming to you from Liliandal on the east coast uh, of Demerara where um, for the break news where I'm covering uh, a very gruesome scene. What you're seeing uh, just behind me is the remains, the dead body of an individual who has been involved in an accident um, that has left two vehicles mangled and one man laying dead on the East Coast Highway. Just to give you a bearing of where we are, um, that direction is Georgetown. Uh, this is Patterson area. Um, just across there is the conference center. So you could have a, a Arthur Chung conference center where the recount was recently kept and parliament is kept now. Um, just, just, this is the, actually the bridge just before you reach to the entrance for the Giftland Mall. So, um, what, obviously speeding is involved here. If you look at the, the two vehicles and how they're mangled, you, you get a, a good understanding that this was a bit of a head-on collision. Um, one car is damaged to its right side front completely. The other vehicle is damaged to its right side front also. So they would have come in contact at that point. They would obviously have to be going at a fast rate of speed. Um, did the person who died, were they assisted out and were they trying to, persons trying to get help for them and they died outside there? Nobody knows if they were flung from the vehicle or whatever. So we're going to go from the other side and try to get a look at the numbers uh, for the vehicles and you can get to see a little bit of the condition how mangled these vehicles are. So one of the vehicles, uh, HC6244, is a Toyota Spacio. The other one is either an Alien or a Primo. And the blue uh, cover is the body covered there, just to the side of the, the Primo. Um, now the Spacio, its back door is completely uh, off of the car and crushed and it has been pushed up against some kind of a tree root or something there um, the primo also mangled from the left side front I don't know if this individual who lies on the ground dead is the driver of the primo um, at this time we are unaware we have not been able to ascertain um, whether what direction the, the two vehicles were coming from. The, from the onset, you could know or you could ascertain to some level certain things about this accident, not everything. Um, I'm hoping to get some CCTV footage that would explain police are on the ground, um, the ambulance is here, EMTs are here. Uh, obviously the individual has been, I, I don't know if the individual has been pronounced uh, dead as yet, but um, that is up to the professionals to decide. But if you look at the vehicles, you realize one was coming uh, in the direction to Georgetown and one would have been going to the East Coast. Where these two vehicles collided exactly is not yet known. But although the uh, Primo seems to be heading in the direction of Georgetown still, um, with heavy impact, vehicles turn around because I've been on so many accidents since you. Again, I am a little off. See with me. Um, I'm a little off because of the fact that, you know, just out of my bed and you wake up to these kind of things. This is happening constantly. One has to ask oneself, what these two individuals. Now is 10.30 is the curfew time. What these two individuals were doing on the road at this time, that's a big question one has to ask. Um, speeding obviously why 
Um, this place is fairly well lit except for the bridge. Uh, did somebody didn't see, did one of the drivers not see the other? Um, if one of the drivers was errant, um, were they overtaken? I see another vehicle here, uh, but I don't know if that was also involved in the accident. But I, I see another vehicle uh, is immobile at this time and is in the corner of the road. No, um, totally unaware if that is involved in this accident. And it seems I see some markings going in that direction. It might be involved in this accident. Right now the main concern is the individual who has lost his life. Somebody is not going home. Um, you know, somebody's kids are home, somebody's wife is worrying about them. And I'm gonna try to get her. I know the person for the spacio would be seriously injured. If you come out of a vehicle that is as mangled as that, you you gotta consider yourself lucky. You gotta start praying, make sure you, you wake up this morning in church, right? So but the individual who lies there, I have not been able to ascertain the individual's name, maybe to help the family to know that their loved one is not coming home. And using this opportunity in this broadcast to make you aware, be careful and be mindful when using the road. Um, observe the five C's. Uh, if you don't know what that is, the mean you buy a license. Now you shouldn't be driving um, like you're crazy in the road. One of the things and the problems that you have on these roads is people overtaking and what would happen and people don't notice a lot is this area is fairly well lit there's street lights here going to the Giflan area but when you come out of an area that's well lit and go into a dark spot like the bridge there's no foundation at the side of the bridge to be put in proper lighting so when you come off of um, an area that is well lit and go into a dark area there's a little there's a short period of time where you got a dullness in your sight. So, um, was that the cause for this accident? If they were not speeding, obviously they would have been able to alleviate the accident. Um, two persons, you gotta remember these are two drivers. Uh, one errant or both might have been errant. And now we're looking at a third vehicle. But, for those of you who just tuned into Daybreak News, the Guyanese critic is coming to you from Liliandal and the just before Gifland Mall and this is the pump road and the bridge one of the main bridges on the east coast here where an accident has just occurred or maybe just about under an hour ago and has left one dead that blue um, cover that you're seeing there lies the body of a yet to be identified individual uh, who has succumbed to his injuries uh, was some bit of drunk driving involved here um, obviously from this you can see speeding was involved here and you look at the vehicle and you could tell that one or more of the vehicles would have had to be going at over 80 kilometers per hour to get a certain kind of effect or certain damages to vehicles um, you know me being going on a lot of different accidents I have been able to ascertain this just from the onset just looking at an accident you'd be able to say that there are certain things you can't um, ascertain by just looking at an accident you'd have to have evidence I'd have to have a closer look to get an understanding of what exactly happened um, at this time the police have already put up their uh, caution tape so I've not been able to get in uh, I don't want to disturb anything that would affect the police investigation but one person is dead um, I'm being told that others have been critically injured they have been taken for medical attention in George Young Public Hospital and um, again somebody is going to be waiting home for their family to come home and he's not going to be coming home unfortunately tonight the Guyanese critic for Daybreak News coming to you from Liliandal where one individual has lost his life uh, as a result of a fatal accident that just uh, within the last hour occurred.